welcome to this online session conducted by shri ram dandekar on behalf of navakokan education society's dbj college chipul we are studying integration and today we are going to study integration by parts there is product rule in derivatives but there is no product rule in integration here we are going to prove integration u v dx you will feel that this is product u and v are functions this is product but this is not a product rule this is integration by parts we are going to prove that integration u v dx is equal to u integration v dx minus integration du by dx integration v dx dx this is the theorem integration by parts we are going to prove let us see the proof let integration v dx is equal to w and therefore by definition if integration of one function is other then derivative of this other function is first then dw by dx is equal to v consider derivative of uw derivative of uw is equal to u into dw by dx plus w into du by dx the product rule of derivatives this is equal to u into dw by dx is v dw by dx is v plus du by dx into w w means integration v dx now we have proved that derivative of u w is equal to u v plus du by dx integration v dx let me write w is equal to integration v dx here but i will write it in the next step now derivative of one function is other then integration of this other function is first and therefore u w is equal to integration of u v plus d u by d x integration v d x d x this is equal to now i am going to write this v w as integration v dx therefore u integration v dx is equal to separate this integration integration u v dx plus integration of du by dx integration v dx dx now rearrange the terms therefore integration u v dx rearranging the terms we get this is equal to u integration v dx minus integration du by dx integration v dx dx please note that this is called as integration by parts and this is not the product rule like derivative also you have to remember that this rule is not symmetric that means if you choose wrongly u and v that means if you interchange them then you won't get the same answer it is different 
but in product rule of derivatives due to symmetry if you take u as any function and v as any function there the answer will not change but here the answer will change and therefore one rule is made over here that rule is called liate rule the rule is called liate rule this rule is there for the choice of the function u choice of the function u for that this rule is there let me explain what is this liate rule e means exponential function exponential means e raised to x a raised to x etc t t means trigonometric functions that is sin x cos x tan x sec x etc a is algebraic functions algebraic functions means all polynomials x square x cube x etc constants i i means inverse functions it is the sin inverse cos inverse tan inverse etc and l means logarithmic function you have to choose in this way this is the cho for choice of u for choice of the function u for example if there is x into sin x then x is algebraic and sin x is trigonometric a comes first t comes afterwards therefore the choice of u is x and choice of v is sin x but if there is x times log x then log x is logarithmic function and x is algebraic function l comes first and a comes afterwards therefore here log x is the choice for u and x is the choice for the function v please note this let us solve some problem so that this rule will be very clear to all of you first problem i will take very simple i equal to integration x times sin x dx now as i told here u equal to x and v is equal to sin x i will write here equal to u v dx equal to u integration v dx minus integration of du by dx integration v dx dx equal to u means x x integration sin x dx minus integration of derivative of x the function u into integration of sin x dx dx this is equal to x into sin x integration is minus cos x minus integration of derivative of x is 1 and integration of sin x is minus cos x dx equal to minus x cos x minus minus plus integration cos x dx this is equal to minus x cos x 
माइनस एक्स कॉस एक्स प्लस साइन एक्स प्लस सी हियर इन इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स वी ऐड द कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इन द एंड आफ्टर द लास्ट इंटीग्रेशन सिंबल इज रिमूव लेट एस सॉल्व नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम I equal to integration x cube into log x dx. X cube into log x dx. Now here x cube is algebraic function and log x is logarithmic function. In the L I A T E rule. L logarithmic comes first before this algebraic function and therefore choice of u is log x this is integration log x into x cube dx equal to integration uv dx integration by parts always write this step so that the rule will be very clear in your mind and you will have the habit of by hearting as its own u integration v dx minus integration of du by dx integration v dx dx so no need to write separate formula here only in the process when you write it it is practiced well so log x integration x cube dx minus integration d by dx of log x integration x cube dx dx equal to log x into x cube integration is x raised to 4 upon 4 c will be taken in the end minus integration log x derivative is 1 upon x into x cube integration is x raised to 4 upon 4 dx equal to x raised to 4 log x divided by 4 Minus one by four integration x cube dx. One term in x will get cancelled here. This is equal to x raised to four into log x divided by four minus one by four into x raised to four upon four. we have removed this last integration sign so i have to add here c so final answer is x raised to 4 into bracket log x upon 4 minus 1 by 16 plus c highlight this answer and this is end of this problem let us see third problem integration x square e raised to x dx here x square is algebraic function and e raised to x is exponential function in l i a t e rule algebraic comes first exponential later so algebraic is the choice for the function u this is equal to or uh, now in this problem i am not going to write u in u v dx etc here directly i am going to write the statement integrating by parts integrating by parts
i equal to x square integration e raised to x dx minus integration d by dx of x square integration e raised to x dx dx. This is equal to x square into e raised to x integration is e raised to x itself minus integration derivative of x square is 2x into integration of e raised to x is e raised to x dx equal to x square into e raised to x minus twice integration x e raised to x dx. Now again here I am going to integration by parts. This is u and this is v function now. Again integrating by parts i equal to x square into e raised to x minus 2 times x integration e raised to x dx u integration v dx minus integration of du by dx that is d by dx of x integration e raised to x dx dx this curly bracket complete equal to x square e raised to x minus 2x into e raised to x minus minus plus 2 integration derivative of x is 1 integration of e raised to x is e raised to x dx equal to x square e raised to x minus 2x into e raised to x plus 2 into e raised to x plus the constant of integration c. So the final answer is take e raised to x common e raised to x into bracket x square minus 2x plus 2 plus c and highlight the final answer. Let us solve fourth problem integration log x dx. We don't know the formula for integration of log x. We don't know even the integration using directly whether we can find or not. Here only single function is appearing. But observe that we can solve this using integration by parts. This is log x into 1 dx. Log x into 1 dx. Log x is the choice of function u and 1 is the choice of function v. So integrating by parts we get i equal to log x integration 1 dx minus integration of derivative log x integration 1 dx dx equal to log x into x minus integration of 1 by x into x dx derivative of log x is 1 by x integration of 1 is x equal to x log x minus integration 1 dx x x will get cancelled this is equal to x log x minus x plus c highlight this final answer it's over let us take the next problem fifth one i equal to integration tan inverse x 
dx tan inverse x dx like in the previous problem i am going to write this as integration tan inverse x into 1 dx tan inverse is inverse and 1 is algebraic in l i a t e rule inverse comes first and algebraic later integrating by parts we get i equal to tan inverse x integration 1 dx minus integration of d by dx of tan inverse x integration 1 dx dx equal to tan inverse x into x minus derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square into integration of 1 is x dx equal to x into tan inverse x minus half integration 2x upon 1 plus x square dx I have multiplied and divided by 2 because due to this the derivative of denominator 1 plus x square is adjusted in the numerator so now in the next step I can directly write this as equal to x tan inverse x minus half log mod 1 plus x square plus c you can write this half over here you can write this as x tan inverse x minus log of under root 1 plus x square plus c highlight this answer answer over Let us try next problem i equal to sin inverse root x dx. There are two ways to solve this problem. In the first way directly put root x is equal to t and then go on solving. But in that way one formula which we have not yet proved therefore I am not following that way. We will use the other way. This is equal to integration sin inverse root x into 1 dx just like the previous problem this is inverse function this is algebraic function integrating by parts we get sin inverse root x integration 1 dx minus integration of d by dx of sin inverse root x integration 1 dx dx equal to sin inverse root x into x minus derivative of sin inverse bracket is 1 upon under root 1 minus bracket square into d by dx of bracket that is 1 upon 2 root x into integration of 1 dx is x dx equal to sin inverse x times sin inverse root x minus half integration root x upon under root 1 minus x dx equal to x into sin inverse root x minus half integration x upon under root x into 1 minus x dx multiplied numerator and denominator both by root x 
इक्वल टू एक्स साइन इनवर्स रूट एक्स माइनस वन बाय फोर इंटीग्रेशन टू एक्स अपॉन अंडर रूट एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स आई हैव मल्टीप्लाइड हियर एंड डिवाइडेड बाय टू बिकॉज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर इज वन माइनस टू एक्स I want one minus two x in the numerator. Take this negative inside so that here it will be minus two x. X sine inverse root x plus one by four integration minus two x upon under root x minus x square dx now here add and subtract 1 this is equal to x into sin inverse root x plus 1 by 4 integration 1 minus 2x upon under root x minus x square dx minus 1 by 4 times integration dx upon under root x minus x square now here if we put t is equal to x minus and x minus x square then 1 minus 2x is dt so i am writing here directly only for this integration for middle integration x minus x square is equal to t implies 1 minus 2x times dx is equal to dt one minus 2x times dx is equal to dt and therefore i equal to x sin inverse root x plus 1 by 4 integration dt upon root t minus 1 by 4 integration dx upon now x minus x square middle term is 1 so add and subtract half square and you will get this as half square minus x minus half bracket square under root half square minus x minus half bracket square equal to x times sin inverse root x plus 1 by 4 times 2 root t minus 1 by 4 times sin inverse this is in the form dx upon a square my under root a square minus x square so its integration is sin inverse x by a x minus half upon half plus the constant of integration c equal to x sin inverse root x plus half root t t means x minus x square minus 1 by 4 sin inverse multiply numerator and denominator both by 2x so you will get 2x minus 1 plus c and the answer is over let us solve this problem i equal to cos of cube root x dx let 
क्यूब रूट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टी दैट इज एक्स रेस टू वन बाय थ्री इज इक्वल टू टी एंड देर फोर वन बाय थ्री इंटू एक्स रेस टू वन बाय थ्री माइनस वन टाइम्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी टी देर फोर वन बाय थ्री इंटू एक्स रेस टू माइनस टू बाय थ्री डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी टी देर फोर वन बाय थ्री इंटू वन अपॉन एक्स रेस टू वन बाय थ्री स्क्वायर डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी टी एंड देर फोर डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू टी स्क्वायर डी टी टेकिंग दिस एक्स रेस टू वन थर्ड ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर ऑन राइट हैंड साइड एक्स रेस टू वन थर्ड इज टी सो रिप्लेसिंग हियर टी वी गेट दिस थ्री टी स्क्वायर एंड इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ डी टी एंड देर फोर आई इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन थ्री टी स्क्वायर इंटू कॉस टी डी टी टेक थ्री आउटसाइड एंड नाउ यूज द एल आई ए टी ई रूल एंड सॉल्व इंटीग्रेट विथ द इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट दिस इज अलजिब्रिक फंक्शन ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन थ्री टाइम्स इन टू टी स्क्वायर इंटीग्रेशन कॉस्टी डी टी माइनस इंटीग्रेशन डी बाई डी टी ऑफ टी स्क्वायर इंटीग्रेशन कॉस टी डी टी डी टी इक्वल टू थ्री टी स्क्वायर इंटू साइन टी माइनस थ्री इंटीग्रेशन टू टी इंटू साइन टी डी टी इक्वल टू थ्री टी स्क्वायर इंटू साइन टी माइनस सिक्स टाइम्स इंटीग्रेशन टी इंटू साइन टी डी टी थ्री सिक्स इंटू इंटीग्रेशन टी साइन टी डी टी इक्वल टू थ्री टी स्क्वायर इंटू साइन टी माइनस सिक्स टाइम्स अगेन इंटीग्रेटिंग बाय पार्ट्स टी इंटीग्रेशन साइन टी डी टी माइनस इंटीग्रेशन डी बाय डी टी ऑफ टी इंटीग्रेशन साइन टी डी टी डी टी इक्वल्स टू थ्री टी स्क्वायर इंटू साइन टी माइनस सिक्स टी इंटू माइनस कॉस टी माइनस माइनस प्लस सिक्स इंटीग्रेशन वन इंटू माइनस कॉस टी डी टी इक्वल टू थ्री टी स्क्वायर साइन टी प्लस सिक्स टी कॉस टी माइनस सिक्स इंटीग्रेशन कॉस टी इज साइन टी प्लस द कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन सी नाउ रिप्लेस टी बाय एक्स रेस टू वन बाय थ्री That is cube root of x. Three times cube root x square into sine of cube root x plus six times cube root of x into cos of cube root of x minus six sine cube root of x plus c. This is your final. answer new problem i equal to integration x sin 2x cos 5x dx here in this problem 
I am going to use the formula 2 sin A cos B is equal to sin of A plus B plus sin of A minus B and therefore sin 2x into cos 5x is equal to sin 2x plus 5x plus sin 2x minus 5x divided by 2 equal to half sin 7x minus sin 3x this is sin of minus 3x but that minus can be taken outside and therefore i becomes half integration x into sin 7x minus sin 3x dx equal to half times now i am going to use integration by parts integrating by parts half times x integration sin 7x minus sin 3x dx minus integration of derivative of x integration of sin 7x minus sin 3x dx dx equal to half into x into sin 7x integration is minus cos 7x upon 7 and sin 3x integration is minus cos 3x upon 3 minus half times taking this half inside many times you forget this and the answer becomes wrong now here integration of sin 7x is minus cos 7x upon 7 minus minus cos 3x upon 3 dx equal to minus x cos 7x upon 14 plus x cos 3x upon 6 minus minus plus half integration cos 7x upon 7 minus cos 3x upon 3 dx equal to x cos 7x upon 14 plus x cos 3x upon 6 plus half times cos 7x integration is sin 7x upon 7 minus 1 by 3 as it is integration of cos 3x is sin 3x upon 3 plus c equal to x cos 7x upon 14 plus x cos 3x upon 6 plus sin 7x upon 7 7 the 49 2 the 98 minus sin 3x upon 18 plus c this is the final answer i forgot this negative now highlight the answer
let us solve one more problem i equals to integration e raised to 3x into cos 2x dx i am going to call this as 1 now this is exponential function and this is trigonometric function i am going to use the integration by parts according to our l i a t e rule t comes first and e comes later so cos 2x is the choice of function u and e 3x is the choice for function v but remember that whenever you are using uh, you are using uh, solving the problem containing exponential and trigonometry these two only then in that case you can assume any of the pro function as u and other function as v because both are non terminating on derivative so here i am integrating by parts integrating by parts i equal to cos 2x integration e raised to 3x dx minus integration of derivative of cos 2x integration e raised to 3x dx dx equal to cos 2x into e raised to 3x upon 3 x has coefficient so i have to divide by that minus integration cos 2x integration is minus 2 times sin 2x into e raised to 3x integration is e raised to 3x upon 3 dx equal to cos 2x into e raised to 3x upon 3 plus 2 by 3 integration sin 2x into e raised to 3x dx integrating by parts this second integration we get the first part as it is cos 2x into e raised to 3x upon 3 plus 2 by 3 times now integrating by parts sin 2x is u and e raised to 3x is v so sin 2x integration e raised to 3x dx minus integration of derivative of sin 2x into integration e raised to 3x dx dx equal to cos 2x into e raised to 3x upon 3 plus 2 by 3 into sin 2x e raised to 3x integration is e raised to 3x upon 3 minus integration of sin 2x derivative is 2 cos 2x integration e raised to sorry integration e raised to 3x is e raised to 3x upon 3 dx equal to i am writing e raised to 3x initially e raised to 3x into cos 2x upon 3 plus 2 by 9 into sin 2x into e raised to 3x minus 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 is 4 by 9 integration cos 2x into e raised to 3x dx this is what where we started cos 2x into e raised to 3x dx is equal to i so i am going to write here 
i is equal to e raised to 3x into cos 2x upon 3 plus 2 by 9 into e raised to 3x into sin 2x minus 4 by 9 times i. Therefore, i plus 4 by 9 times i is equal to e raised to 3x upon 9 into bracket 3 cos 2x plus 2 sin 2x. Therefore, 13i upon 9 is equal to e raised to 3x upon 9 times 3 cos 2x plus 2 sin 2x. Cancel out 9 from both sides and therefore i equal to integration e raised to 3x upon 13 into 3 cos 2x plus 2 sin 3x sorry 2x and in the end don't forget to add the constant of integration. That's all for in this session. In the next session we will solve more examples from the same topic integration by parts. In that topic we will see some theorems. Thank you very much for today.